The New South Wales Premier has had a $200 million change of mind, dumping plans to relocate Sydney's powerhouse museum to the city's western suburbs. The museum will instead remain at its current site in Ultimo as a new facility is built in western Sydney. There are reports the reversal is an attempt to quell a backbench revolt over the return of Arts Minister Don Harwin. Treasurer Dominic Perrottet says it's what's best for the economy. Uh, today's decision, what I've always said uh, during the period of this time, that will put the economy uh, before the budget. Uh, we will forego $195 million uh, from the redevelopment um, of this site. The new government-funded project is costing the state $840 million. Mr Harwin says he is delighted by the decision. Uh, we are delighted uh, about the fact that this museum is going to get a whole new le lease of life. This museum here at Ultimo and the museum at Parramatta. This is a great city already for its museums, but we really are going to become the museum capital of the Asia-Pacific. South Wales opposition leader Jody McKay has described the entire project as a farce. The Powerhouse Museum has been a farce for the last six years. We've had $46 million spent on consultants and not one job created. This is about a cobbled together uh, political fix for the Premier uh, based on her support for Don Harwin.